Hello everyone, how to solve this interesting exponential equation? It is a math Olympiad question. Square root 7 power square root m minus square root 3 power square root m is equal to 40 and m is equal to what? How to solve this question? Okay, so let's start. Our question is, look, here is square root 7 and power square root m minus square root 3 power square root m is equal to 4 yes now in this expression i can say like this 7 and whole to the power square root m over 2 yes because of that square root 7 it will be 7 to the power 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 times square root m it will be square root m over 2 minus and again here is same case it will be 3 to the power square root m over 2 is equal to 40 yes now, at this moment, let, here is let, square root m over 2, it will be x. We are let this is equal to x, yes. So, this equation becomes 7 to the power x minus 3 to the power x is equal to 40, yes. Then, at this moment, we will find out what is the value of x in this exponential equation. But in this case, look, 7 to the power x, here is 3 to the power x. So, 7 to the power x, and here is, exponent is 1, I can say that here is, and 3 to the power x, and here is, exponent also 1, is equal to 40. Yes. Then, in this expression, I can say that uh, this equation becomes 7 to the power x, and whole to the power 2 over 2 look 2 divide 2 it will be 1 minus and 3 to the power x and whole to the power 2 over 2 2 divide 2 it will be 1 is equal to 40 yes I just use here is power 2 over 2 then according to exponential rules I can say really, this 7 to the power x here is it will be 7 to the power x over 2 I just move on this way in this side and whole to the power this two this time this it will be this this yes then here is minus 3 to the power x over 2 and whole to the power 2 is equal to 40 yes now at this moment I can see easily here is 7 to the power x over 2 let here is 7 to the power x over 2 it will be p and 3 to the power x over 2 it will be q we are let this is p this is q so i can see that this equation becomes p square minus q square is equal to 40 because of that we are let this is equal to p this is equal to q and in this expression we know that the rules this formula s square minus p square it will be a plus b times a minus b according to this case i can say it will be p plus q times p minus q is equal to 40 yes then at this moment if i find out the factor here is 40 so it will be p plus q p minus q i can say this 40 it will be 40 times 1 and it will be 10 times 4 it will be 20 times 2 and it will be 8 times 5 you know that 8 times 5 it is also 40 and here is p plus q greater than p minus q and p and q is integer okay then at this moment, I can say that p plus q is equal to 40 and here is 1. So, we we'll find out here is 4 factor. But in this case, look, this is not possible. This is not possible. This is not possible. This is possible. Uh, 10 times 4. So, I can say that here is p plus q. Uh, we we'll take here is 10 times 4. Here is p plus q is equal to 10. And in this case, I can say here is p minus q is equal to 4 so at this moment look here is p and q is a positive integer okay so at this moment uh, we will find out here is first equation and this is our second equation so if i add both equation we will find out here is look 
if I add both equation equation first and equation second so p plus p it will be 2p and 10 plus 4 it will be 14 then if I divide both side by 2 we are find out p is equal to 7 yes and at this moment look p is equal to 7 and at this moment if I subtract both equation I mean this equation minus this equation p minus p it will be 0 and q minus q it will be 2q yes is equal to 10 minus 4 it will be 6 then if I divide both side by 2 we will find out q is equal to 3 yes but remember that p is equal to 7 to the power x over 2 so I put this value in this case it will be 7 to the power x over 2 is equal to 7 to the power 1 and q is equal to 3 to the power x over 2 is equal to 3 to the power 1 I just uh, put the value p and q in this question okay now at this moment this expression here is uh, 7 7 basically same so I can see the exponent is equal so exponent is equal so x over 2 is equal to 1 then I can see that here is x is equal to 2 times 1 it will be 2 and in this case again we find out same case x over 2 is equal to 1 then we find out x is equal to 2 2 times 1 it will be 2 but remember that what is the value of m in this question but we will add it is x is equal to square root m over 2 this below we are put this case so we are find out um, recall x is equal to square root m over 2 yes is equal to 2 and here is a square root m over 2 is equal to 2 then I can say here is square root m is equal to 2 times 2 it will be 4 and square root m is equal to 4 then we are find out here is m is equal to 16 I use both set whole square so we are find out m is equal to 16 and again here is m is equal to 16 this is our final answer in this math question so let's check out uh, our question is 7 to the power square root m square root 7 power square root m minus square root 3 power square root m is equal to 40 this is our question now at this moment we'll find out the value of m is equal to 16 so square root 7 and power is square root 16 minus square root 3 power is square root 16 is equal to 40 yes so i can say 7 square root 7 power it will be 4 minus square root 3 it will be 4 is equal to 40 yes so in this case i can say 7 to the power 4 it will be square root 7 to the power 2 square root 7 to the power 2 2 plus 2 it will be 4 square root 3 power 2 square root 3 power 2 is equal to 40 then in this case look i can say that 7 times 7 minus 3 times 3 is equal to 40 then we we'll find out here is 49 minus 9 is equal to 40 so 49 minus 9 it will be 40 so i can say 40 is equal to 40 so m is equal to 16 this is our right answer thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care